vector problem. Uh, it's a very famous problem in probability theory, which states that we have n different types of coupons and we have an infinite supply of each type of coupon. Now we sample coupons uh, one after the other till we encounter all different, all n different coupons. Okay, so we define x as the number of samples required to sample all different types of coupons. x i is defined as the number of samples required to get the ith different coupon type. So for example, x1 would be 1 because the very first coupon we draw would be the first different coupon. For x2, the number of uh, x, x2 represents the number of samples required to be drawn to get the second different type of coupon. So for example, if we in the first draw we got coupon, coupon type, type C1, x2 uh, says the number of samples required to get the second different type of coupon. That is if on the second try we get C1 again then we will have to sample again to get the second different type of coupon but in if the if in the second trial we get a coupon other than c1 that means that we have successfully gotten a coupon that is we have successfully gotten the second different type of coupon so and by common sense we say see that x is equal to the summation of x1 plus x10 now we define now one thing we can observe is each xi is a geometric random variable because uh, for example consider xi now for xi uh, the probability that the probability of drawing a different coupon on the uh, uh, number of samples required okay the probability of drawing a different coupon for xi is n minus i minus 1 divided by n uh, and this is a geometric random variable uh, which is uh, quite obvious so using linearity of expectation we write this formula expectation of x1 can be uh, expectation of x1 is obviously one expectation of x2 is this up to expectation of xn is this using the formula of and what we can see is this is nothing but the discrete version of integral 1 by x dx uh, something like this and we know this is ln x between 1 and n so ln n so this is the discrete summation 1 to i is the discrete version of this integral so and obviously since, since this is discrete it will be lesser than ln n so we can say that this, this whole quantity is order of n log n. Now, as xi, each xi is a non-negative random variable, we can use the Markov's inequality. And I've explained about the Markov's and Chebyshev's inequality in another video. We can use the Markov's inequality to find the probability that the number of samples required is greater than two times the expected value of number of samples required is less than half and we can construct other probabilities as well like p of x we can say this as well and now to analyze how the variance of this distribution looks like we use Chebyshev's inequality um, so to analyze how how uh, probable is the value of x how probable 
is the deviation of x from the mean is given by the Chebyshev's, uh, Chebyshev's inequality. So for that we calculate variance of x which will be the variance of summation xi and since xi's are independent uh, we can uh, we can take out the summation sign outside and variance of a geometric random variable is nothing but to re recap uh, for a geometric random variable expectation is equal to 1 by p and variance is equal to 1 minus p by p square and using 1 minus p by p P square the formula we get this summation this summation taking and we convert equality into inequality so this is basically n into n where 1 n is from all these terms and 1 n and this n is basically we have uh, upper bounded all these terms by this n so we get this inequality and we have this result that the summation i1 to n i square is less than or equal to pi square by 6. Uh, this is the result that we have or we can also say that this tends to pi square by 6. Using this result and using Chebyshev's inequality, we get that the probability that x, the, the difference of x on either sides, on uh, either side of uh, mean, the probability that the deviation is greater than some n log n is bounded by the order of, order of 1 by log n square. So we see, see that as uh, or in other words, if this was k, if this had been k, it would have been n square by k square. Uh, so this is the analysis of uh, coupon collector problem. Thank you.